is usually clean shaven and expecting clean work as the resident builder on the block and new series Slice of Paradise. He is now on a mission to grow a mo, but all for a good cause. Please welcome to the cafe, Peter Wolfkamp. Oh, welcome, thank welcome. You. Thank you. Very much. Uh, first up, can we get a close up on this? On what's happening yeah. on Pete's face right now? And what do we what do we actually call? What do we call? There we go. Oh yeah. There I we don't go. think there's anything kind that you can say. Basically, first week of November, nobody looks any good. Traffic seriously. officer style? Is that what yeah, we're going for? Some you know, sort trucker of, maybe? Some sort, sort of, of you know, movie star from the 70s? Mexican trucker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chopper Reed maybe once we get a bit that's more going right. on. That's right. Yes, yeah. that's ambitious. Yeah, now you um, you have you started this off November with a cutthroat shave. Yeah, and that's a real bucket list for me. So in all the years, I've never had the opportunity or never taken the opportunity to do it. So shot down to Barker's in Ponsonby there, and wow, wet shave. You know, the towels, the steam, and um, the person that shaved me, Jess, um, was in the army. So I realise I've had a cutthroat razor near my face by someone who's trained to kill. Wow. Oh, that's wow. fine. Did, did Jess by any chance have a full beard with wax moustache? She didn't. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. So, obviously, you know, we see by walking the streets now there are people starting to grow fabulous yep. moustaches like yourself. It is Movember. What <laughs> made you support Movember? Look, it's something that I've done for a number of years. Sometimes, you know, lots of guys do it and they never actually join up the Movember campaign. So that's something to encourage guys to do. Yep. Um, but also, I think for men in general, and this is a campaign that is around raising awareness of men's health, both physical and mental. I think um, when you start breaking down the statistics, we're not that great at looking after ourselves, and the impact on families and friends is huge. Yeah, and men don't talk about their health problems, and they really, really should. Exactly, and that, in that sense, you know, growing this even today, coming across on the ferry, sort of, the, you know, the occasional nod, and you see yeah. someone else who's starting to grow it, and it's like, hey, we're on the same page here. You know, we can share these stories. Yeah. yeah. There's multiple layers with that. You know that you're achieving yep. something because the conversations are starting yep. to happen, right? It is yeah. up front and centre, yeah. <laughs> But you want to raise some money though, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Hey, the fact is that um, the agencies that are supported by Movember do really good work. And it's a mixture of there is money that is raised from Movember that goes into mental health. There is money that goes into research. You know, prostate cancer in New Zealand is a really, really big issue for men. Um, and they support various research agencies. If we can't grow a moustache... I don't <laughs> tend to have that problem. In fact, I'm contemplating bringing say, it out. I'm surprised that you didn't take the challenge, maybe go clean shaven. The month is brain. young. Uh, I've probably missed <laughs> no, it a wee bit head now. start, I think. That yeah. would be unfair. What can we do, though, or what can people do who can't grow a moustache? OK, well, there are Mo Sisters as well as Mo Bros. So if you go to the website, the Movember website, you'll see all the different activities that are being involved. Obviously, you can donate. Whether you donate, I'd love it if you donated to me. I've set a reasonably ambitious target. Um, but otherwise you'll have people in your workplace, you'll have friends who are doing it. You could donate anonymously to someone who you just like the look of on the Movember page. Yeah. Um, we should definitely donate for you because I want Please. to see this thing in all its glory. Uh, so you're on Slice of Paradise at the moment. Yes. How's that going with the co-host Shelley Ferguson? It's been really, really good. Um, it's been a lovely show to do. Really good people and nice, you know, to get out of Auckland, for me anyway, um, to, and to see the, the wide variety. And I think uh, Slice is literally a cross-section of New Zealand society. We're all looking for houses for different reasons, whether you're in Timaru, like we were last week, um, talking about, hey, what can I buy for 270? Or you're in Auckland and, hey, I've got one and a half million or two million dollars to spend. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you so much for coming in. Um, I'm going to lend you my eyeliner later on so you can just colour just it. Just it up. Right there, just it I up could get rid of the, the grey. On the wispy bits, exactly there. That's exactly it. Now, if you would like to support Peter in his Movember challenge, Absolutely. head along to his MoBro page. And Slice of Paradise is on three tonight at 7.30.